Kenya is known for its diversity, especially when it comes to food. So today I want to sample one of the biggest urban delicacy, known as motura. Join me. So I'm here with Mama Esther. Nataka tuoneshe how motura inatengenezwa. Ninini aneka ndani, but above all, kukula lazima tukule. So mama Esther, mimi nataka tu niambie, ni nini ilifanya tu uanze hii business na si business nyingine? Mimi nilipata mzee akiwa anaendelea mm. na juu siku ana job nikaamua kumchain, siku ana job. Okay. Yeah. Ushaipata maybe customers wana wakikuuliza mniaje mbona unafanya hii kazi? Wengi hawakuulizi lakini wanakuangalia, unajitazia wanajiuliza maswali. Yeah. Imo tura, mbona ni aje na kuanga refu hivi, ni nini nafanya yukue refu hivyo? Unajua, tunatumia intestine za ngombe, na kina kuanga kirefu, wedo unashe pulingana na bende, unataka lembea kwa ikue. Oh, intestines? E, eh, intestine ya ngombe ni refu. Oh, ok. <laughs> Una cut pieces, pieces, okay. pulingana na hile size unataka. So once mmesha chukua hizo intestines, mm -hmm. ni mneka nini ndani kwa hizo kwa intestines? Tuneka nyama, in, internal parts za ngombe. Okay. Hizo yeah. internals ni kama gani hivyo? Kuna mara, uh -huh. kuna lungs, kuna two pieces to kidneys, na zile veins, no 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 zina kuanga kwa heart. Kuna some green things, hizi ni nini za green hapo? Hiyo ni kitungu ila inapikanga samosa. Omneka di kitungu? Eh, yeah, na kachungu. Na chumvi. Mm. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> ni poa. So once mesha eka hizo... Izo internal organs mekatakata, mekapondani. Then what's, what's the next step? What's the next thing mnafanya? Kwanza ukichukua izo internal part, ukizitua kwa slaughter, mm. unazichemusha kwanza, unakatakata, unaweka kitungu na chumbi, usha boil. Sasa oh, lazima uboil? Lazima uboil kwanza. Mbuna usieke too straight kwa pan. <laughs> Tu ikiwa dani ya nini itu bia... Ya mara, yeah. haita hiva kwa hiva Okay. Okay. Yeah. So once, once umeboil, then? Umekatakata, umemix na kitungu na chumbi, sasa unaweka dani ya hiyo tu. Oh. Dani ya mara. <laughs> so, no na uneka kwa pan, then uneka hapa. Hii inasaidia nini kweka kwa pan? Juu, hizo nyama zinakuanga na mafuta, na ukiwekele direct kwa makaa, ita sababisha moshi moshi lakini ikiwa kwa pan ita hiyo mafuta itabaki kwa pan kuna mtu maybe anaweza sema ah ikishatolewa kwa pan hivi anaweza kula ikiwa hivyo so what's the need utoe kwa pan cuz mimi naona iko ready mbona uweke hapa tena ndio drain ile mafuta imebaki na ikuwa kwa kiasi tu ikiwa kwa pan ni moto sana mimi sasa hizi toka hapa kasi jaonja lazima nionje so unaanza ngana ya how much 10 bob nikatiwe ya 10 nione Mm. Customers wako sana ni madem ama maboy. Ma Kwa hote yadi watoto. <laughs> Adu watu hii. Yeah. Kuna tuwa wagopa kubai mtura. Mm. Mtu anakuja, anajifanya anunui, but anatika kununua. Mm. Is there time maybe ujapata customers, zimebaki, zikilala unafanya ngaje? Na shukuru mungu wa zijawa ibaki. Azijawa ibaki? Eh, lazima <laughs> Customers when you kill a siku, lazima kwe hapa. Yani mpaka unawajua tu by face. Eh, wako wengi, hata ukiona inakaribia kuisha, unafiche una yao kando. Tumi lazima watakuja na wataki kukosa. Mabesta by the, hauko umeongea. Maybe kama unezambia watu uko wapi, hii business nafanyika wapi, area yani? Area. Hawa mm. panaitu wa mashurie. Katikati ya Rimpa na Narepo. Apo ni Rongai? Yeah. <laughs> Rongai. This is Kajado County, guys. Rongai. Uh, the area is actually called Rimpa on your way to Kisarian. So for some of you who still need nutritional reason to consume motura, other than the natural fats, it's rich in iron and proteins. It also has roughages that really help in digestion. So guys, tune in next time. Bye.